Hi guys, welcome to another All Things Tennis Review video. Today we're going to look at the best rackets you can buy from us under £100, focusing on full graphite models, so they might not have all the tech of the premium models, but they're very solid rackets, maybe on a budget or just playing once or twice a week and just want a good racket for a good price. So, here we go. Okay, first on the list, I'm going to go with the E Zone Ace. Now, the E Zone top end model, like a 98 or an E Zone Tour or something like that, is close to that £200 mark. This is well under 100, it's 76.49 with us at the moment. So, what's the same and what's different? So, you're getting a full graphite model here and it looks very, very similar. So, the differences in the frame are maybe you don't get the same vibration dampening technology or you don't get the flex force and things like that. But what you do get is you get the same oval press shaft here, you get the same colour scheme and you get a 100% full graphite model. So this one comes in at 260 grams on strong and it's slightly bigger head size, it's 102 square inches. But it's designed for someone who wants a forgiving racket, lightweight, easy to swing and you know it looks exactly like the, what their idols might be using on the TV. You also get this aero shaped design that is synonymous with the E-Zone now and you also get the nice isometric head from Yonet. So I'm really impressed with the build quality in this racket. It's made in China rather than Japan so you might lose a little bit of that accuracy in terms of how close to spec it is. But it is designed for beginners to intermediates to pick up a racket and have a good quality racket that they can have fun with. And for the price under £100 you're getting a really good deal here guys. It's a lot of racket for that money. It looks exactly like the higher models. Maybe not, maybe doesn't play exactly the same way, but hey, if you're a beginner intermediate, this is a great start for you. So one model to look out for is also the Head Instinct. It's been around for quite a few years. It's quite a popular name within the head line. So it's not gonna currently be in head tour silos. So I've mentioned that before, your speech, your prestige used by tour players, but it is designed for players that are more club level, intermediate level. This color scheme is gonna change. It's gonna be more black and blue. You'll be able to see it. We'll make sure we update the links in the description for the new model coming out in March, early March that is, 2022. They're going to be just under the £100 price mark with us and they're going to be in different weights as well. So some of the rackets might be showing you come in one weight, the Instinct you might have one around 280, one around 265. It's nice and easy to pick a racket that's suited to you. Had a great in incorporating the technologies of the more premium and top end rackets into these more entry level rackets as well. You know, it will still have some graphene in the frame as well as the graphite, so you're getting a really good, solid racket for your money here. And they look good. You know, this model, nice color scheme. You've also got the black and blue instinct on its way. They look nice. They're good rackets from a really good brand under that £100 price mark with us, and you're getting a nice lot of technology for your money. Okay, this is a quite a unique racket. The Dunlop CX range is also based on control and this is based on control too. Even though it's an entry level racket under £100, it's still based on control. So say for example you want a racket that's under £100, full graphite, you find you're going long a lot when you're playing. This is a really good option, okay? It's got quite a thin beam, so it's 22 millimeter beam, which is quite thin. You normally find that on more he um, heavier rackets, more top end rackets. The color scheme is exactly the same as a more expensive CX range, and this comes in at a nice 275 weight. So that's a really nice middle range. You know, when you drop down to 260s, like the E Zone Ace we just mentioned, you might find you grow out of a racket like that a little bit quicker because they're quite light. You can of course customize rackets and lead tape. But this is a nice middle weight for people. Females, males, all players can use it and also younger players, maybe a teenager, you know, wanting a racket that's a great racket for a great price, this is a good option. It also has vibration dampening technology in the frame, so it's not pingy, it doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels like a quite a high-end racket in the hand as well. It's got things like the aero skin, technology in the frame to make it aerodynamic. It looks and feels like an expensive racket, you know, close to 200 and you're getting that for well under 100 pounds in the 70 pound region with us. So a really nice racket. And as I mentioned, this racket is quite unique in the fact that it's a more classical design. 
Other rackets may have a thicker beam, be more head heavy. This racket follows more traditional players rackets characteristics with a thinner beam, more even balance. It's great if you're looking to really develop long quick swings and want control and you don't want a ball flying along with you, it's a really good option. So quite impressed with Dunlop for this at this price point. So now the next option, maybe you're a big Rafa fan. You want to get the Babalat racket that looks just like what Rafa uses. The top end Rafa rackets are around 300 grams of pure aero Rafa is close to that 200 pound mark so they're obviously quite expensive if you're looking to play just once a week or just getting back into tennis so and this is where the boost wrapper comes into play now this is 100 percent full graphite it doesn't have all the technologies like the pure aero wrapper but it still has a nice aerodynamic throat the color scheme is just like what wrapper uses that limited edition pure aero wrapper color Obviously the colour scheme he used at the Australian Open where he got his 21st Grand Slam and arguably became the greatest player of all time. Looks great, you've obviously got a nice little image of Rafa here. The racket itself is nice and solid, it's quite light, so it's 260 grams unstrung, so when you string it up it'll be about 275. It makes it easy to use as a beginner or intermediate. If you're playing you know, once a week, you're not going to struggle to use this racket, it's built to be user friendly and it looks great. I think the big thing for this is obviously the colour scheme, how it looks, a Babalat model which you know is a premium brand, you're getting it at a price well under 100, around 70 to 80 pounds with us and obviously you're getting a full graphite system and it also has the woofer technologies in the grommage which Babalat are great for power and spin. You get a really good bang for your buck here in terms of a really good looking racket that performs well. If you are a player that's playing more than once a week or you know maybe you're a six foot male etc etc you're going to find this probably a bit light especially if you're looking to develop with your playing with the coach etc you might want to go to a slightly heavier model. The Babalat do do a boost strike which is based on the strike it's all red design like team uses that again is under 100 pounds and it's 280 grams weight so it might be a better weight for you. But if you're a beginner and you're looking for just a lightweight racket with a cool design, look no further than this. Okay, so just like the Dunlop we mentioned earlier, this V-Core Ace is actually based pretty similar characteristics as a standard V-Core. So it's quite a thin beam racket, it's 23, 23, 21 in terms of a variable beam. It's also got an aerodynamic design and a really cool colour scheme. I really like the white and the red, it works well. Maybe they'll put the standard V-Core in this kind of colour scheme in the future. Obviously that's more red and blue. You've got the imagery of the top players using it, it looks just like a standard V-Core and it's a 98 square inches so where some beginner rackets are bigger head size which you may outgrow quite quick if you have 105 square inches etc they're quite powerful rackets they can be quite un uncontrollable rackets so this at 98 square inches is a nice controlled racket and it's great for spin this v -core ace works on what v -core is synonymous about a fast feeling racket that gives you lots of spin and this certainly does that as well it's obviously quite light at 260 grams so it enables you to hit with lots of racket head speed it is really designed for beginners and intermediates at that weight again if you're more of an intermediate to advanced level player it's probably going to be too light for you but you can always customize with lighter rackets to add more weight to them so 100 percent full graphite like nearly all the rackets we sell at all things tennis this racket still features the isometric head from Yonex, which is very, very popular and is available at all grip sizes and available to demo here at All Things Tennis. So it comes in at just under 100 within the 90 to 100 region and is a very solid racket. So guys, when you're using these type of rackets, I recommend going for a softer string. You can always get the £10 string upgrade with us, which normally costs £30 in store. Go for a softer multi-filament or at least a hybrid, okay, because it keeps the racket nice and soft. When you're playing with a light racket with very stiff strings, it's tough on the joints, okay? So if you're going for a lighter racket, make sure you've got soft strings in there. It's gonna help with power, it's gonna help with feel, which is great for your game if you're an intermediate to beginner. Also, that string's gonna play very similar for its whole lifetime. If you go for a polyester in a more beginner or intermediate racket, it's gonna sit in the frame because you're not likely to break it and it's gonna become dead. It won't look like it's got any usage to it and it looks brand new, but the string's lost its elasticity and it's gonna be bad for your joint. So, String with a multi-filament for all the rackets we've listed below. String with a multi-filament, all the rackets are listed below so you can click through to the link. We're also going to give an additional 5% discount on all these prices if you type in N5 for the next two months 
from the release of this video. I hope it gives you a good insight on that you can get rackets under the £100 mark that are well built, full graphite construction and great for beginners to intermediates and there's some different weight ranges in there for you as well so that will help in order to make sure the racket's right for you. Thanks for watching, if you like the video please give us a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to the channel and we can give you more videos like this, we'll help you on your quest to get the right equipment for your game.